Greetings from Texas. All right, we had a rainstorm last night. Um, I thought I'd go check on my primitive campsite because I left that tarp shelter up and it's been up for over a month. We even had a, a tornado come through. So I'm gonna check on that and I'm gonna go out and make some camp coffee, but I'm gonna show you a um, few methods I use. If I, I just make cowboy coffee, but if you don't like the mess or hassle or it's a little hard for you, here's a couple products. I just happened to get this one at um, an Asian grocery store and they're basically for loose leaf tea. Your little bag. Okay. And all you do is fill it up with coffee. So I have a coffee scoop. Oops. Made a mess there. And usually for my little pot of coffee, I just put three heaping tablespoons or three of those scoops in. And you just take and fold this bag over and you throw your throw it right in your pot and you don't have any loose grounds now <clears throat> this other product I get them off of uh, Amazon and they're actually cloth bags um, you can use them to store your coffee but you can use them the same way and these are reusable so you can put tea coffee or whatever else you want so let's go out and check out my uh, primitive campsite and see what's going on Oh, while we're at it, I'm going to give a channel shout out to uh, Carl the Madman. He lives up there in uh, Canada, and um, I was talking to him, and I had gone camping. I rode one of my motorcycles from Texas to British Columbia a couple years ago, and I stayed in this motorcycle-friendly campground, um, Toad Rock. Anyway, um, I have that video in my uh, Ural playlist interesting campground um great place to camp and i'd love to go back there so check out carl the madman he does uh daily vlogs and a great guy a great attitude and he knows how to bake bread well the shelter's still up After a month. Camp's a mess though. Let me uh, get this cleaned up while we make some coffee. And here's my portable table still here. And if you remember that, if you saw that video and um, you know, the way I made it, this can stay level on any kind of terrain. Well, we have the least of uh, favorable conditions. Rain last night. We got some wind. I don't know if you can hear it. So we're going to use this stick stove with some wet twigs. And see if we can heat up our coffee. This is the uh, Lexata, and these are these fire starter tabs I got from BattleBox. It's quick. See if this will get this wet wood going. It's kind of a true test. Let's see what happens. 
It's been about three minutes since I started the um, fire and it's going okay, despite the wet wood. That's probably where these things do shine, these little gel things or commercial fire starters. So usually if you could get a, a pot of water going in six minutes, that's usually a pretty good deal. All right, we'll come back in three minutes. All right, we're at the five minute mark and we got something going on in the pot. All right, it's bubbling up, so we're gonna take it off. And I know I keep harping about getting the water too hot when you're making coffee. And we're gonna let that steep for eight minutes. Kind of the same rules you use for a French press. And you can see that fire with the wet wood got going pretty good with that gel stuff. Okay, we'll come back in a few minutes. I've kind of been too lazy to make a complete tabletop on this thing, so we're gonna improvise. I use my screen here it's probably better yeah, at least get things off the ground all right it's time for coffee And um, I'm sorry if I offend anybody, but if you're making instant coffee, now I'll give you, if you're backpacking, I'll get, cut you some slack, but if you're making uh, instant coffee, that's not making coffee. All right, here we go. You know, it doesn't take much. Treat yourself good. Make yourself, if you like coffee, make yourself a good cup of coffee. I know there's a lot of people that don't uh, particularly care for coffee. They'll put cream and sugar in those things. I always wondered what John Wayne would say if he saw somebody putting cream and sugar in their coffee. All right, folks. Well, thanks for uh, coming out with me to check on my little primitive campsite. So I got some weeds and things growing in here that we need to take care of. All right, folks. I'm going to go ahead and clean this area up a little bit. I'm going to take down the shelter and then um, I'm going to come out here with a tent and set up a tent and spend the night. So um, that, that'll be coming. All right. Take care and thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out Carl the Madman. I'll have a link in the description down below. Thanks for watching.